Hi everyone, come on in. It's another session of Art with Ruris. So you, if you are watching this, I hope you come from the Deforce and Animation Part 1 where I describe how I create the scene cloudy with a chance of pants using the trash the room, the Deforce trash the room set. So in this video, I will talk about how is my... how did I render and compile the the short clip which I show you over here so um, this to do this you must have uh, already completed your animation so uh, hopefully you have um, at least uh, somewhere between 90 to 180 frames because um, usually the uh, the videos are compiled with 25 frames per second so it's just an estimate like your video should have at least tr somewhere between 3 to 10 seconds like that yeah so let's take a look at my render setting so for the resolution i i am using the local dimension which comes from my camera setting where it. Oh, sorry. This this setting I was I was using for my YouTube thumbnail, so I rendered it at a higher resolution earlier. But earlier I was just using this resolution. Uh, it's just a seven twenty p. If you are not using the camera local dimension, then you should be adjusting your resolution over here. And then in your render type, put it to image series. So when you change it to image series, the render range will appear. My animation only starts from frame 45. Uh, the beginning I was doing something else and I don't need it. And also in the filtering, I was Earlier, I enabled the post denoiser and then I set it at, f at uh, the iteration 500 because I, I gave it a hard maximum of 500 so that the frames, each frame don't take forever to render. Else, the default one, which is 3000, and it will be either you reach 3000 or 95%, whichever came first. So, just to quick review, um, the resolution, keep it low. You may want to change this thing to a, to a hard constant. Just give it a try first, just, just render one frame and see how long it takes. Um, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. So that you don't have to render all night and... and this thing is a bit of a throw up for me. Normally, I use the denoiser on a really high resolution, like 4,000 times 3,000, and it will look quite nice. But for a low resolution video, it may have a detrimental effect. So, what I did was um, you need this program as well. Let's go it up. Yeah, you need to download this FFM pack because what will happen when you render is you will get many multiple frames. So when I'll just flip through real fast. So to join all this image up, you need um, FFmpeg to do it for you. So this program don't come with a GUI, so you cannot just click and stuff. You need to actually know what you are doing. I couldn't get the batch script to work, so... So you actually need to go to your command line 
and and then you go to like cd ffm pan cd bin c dash yeah you need to type all this stuff over here so just so this is the command line i use i start from the number 1045 which is the, the first render image and this percentage d is some kind of wildcard so if you want the full reference you can go over here So as you can see, these are some of the instruction, some of the samples that you can follow and you should be able to compile. So once it's done, once it's done, then you will have your videos created. Okay, so I hope uh, all these steps are not too arcane and if you have any question, please leave it in the comment. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and, and I hope you subscribe.